Good afternoon, Stitchy friends. This is Faith, and this is Stitching at the Barn. Thank you for coming back to spend a little time with me. If you're a returning watcher, and if you're new, I thank you for stopping in, and I hope you find something that you in, that you like and something that will inspire your uh, crafty uh, spirit and make you want to go out and do something. And I'm so glad you've chosen to come and spend a little time with me. Well, I'm uh, cheering myself on. I'm working towards 200 uh, subscribers. I'm up to 170 now. Whoop, whoop. And we're just working our way up there. And so uh, for the month of um, March, I watched over 53 different floss tubes. And some of those I've watched several times. And some are new ones. I keep trying to click new ones. And uh, before I go on, I want to say a big thank you to Don Sarah Ramser. I believe is how you say her last name. Um, she's Frosty X Stitch. If you don't watch her, go give her a watch. But she was so kind to me. I know other floss tubes that um, they get on and they say thank you to so-and-so for talking about us on their floss tube and they say I'm going to put it down in my box below and all that and I'm still new to this and I wasn't sure how to do all that so I put a plea out and she came to my rescue and she told me what to do so I'm going to try all this on my uh, floss tube today I'm going to put things in my description box and hopefully people will be able to see it and so, yep, I'm slow to the party. But she told me what to do, and she gave me permission to go to hers and go to her description box and kind of look at hers and see what she did. And uh, I don't want to copy hers, but it gave me some good ideas. And um, so today, the following floss tubes that I've, tubers that I watched, uh, some of these, I watched, they're going to be down in my description box. So if you want to watch them, go there and you can check them out. First of all, I'm only an Ada person. I work on either 14 count, 16 count. Um, I've done maybe one or two on 18 count, but 14 or 16 are my favorite. But there's one that I watch. She's called the 14 count Ada girl. And her name's Tina. I enjoy watching all the things she does. She does things like I do. So go and watch Tina. And another one is a Red Cross Stitcher. Uh, that's Beth. And uh, I really enjoy watching her. And she, I think she had some surgery, but she's getting better. And I hope she's feeling better. So I enjoy watching her. She does a lot of patriotic things. And um, I really enjoy watching her. Go check her out. And Niecy Lynn. I just, she just does a lot of little different things, and she has some of the most humorous family stories, and she's from Texas, and uh, so go and check her out, Nisi Lynn, and go and watch her, and another one that I want to mention this week is the Stitching Owl, Karen, and she does a variety of things, but one of the things I really enjoy is at the beginning of her floss tube, and at the end, she'll play something on the piano. Not very long, just something short. Beautiful. I can play the piano, but nothing like that. Nothing that way. I think, I don't know if she still does, but I think in past she may have given piano lessons or something along that line. But she would have been an awesome teacher, I think, if that. But those are some people I want you to go check out. And I'll have their names listed below in my description box. So go check them out. So, let's see. I What have I been doing in the um, month of March since I last saw you? Let me go and check out my calendar since I saw you last. Uh, let's see if we did anything major. We went we went camping. We did do that. We went we could have a place that's only about 20 minutes away. It's called Red Rock Canyon. And we went camping. That was our first camping for the season. We enjoyed doing that. Um, let's see, I think that's about the only thing that we did 
away from here besides just our normal living our everyday life since the last time that um, we did. That was our big major. And the end of this month where my husband and I are going to take a little trip um, out west, kind of up towards, uh, we're going to fly to Seattle, Washington, and we're going to take a little trip. And uh, I'm looking forward to that. And um, so we're going to do some things there. But anyway, so that's what we're up to, and it's just normal everyday life, and I'm getting to stitch a little bit most days. I Some days are more than others, but uh, we're just keeping up. My son came in this past weekend and kind of surprised me. He called Friday evening, yeah, Friday evening, and he said, can somebody come pick me up at the airport? He only got to stay till Monday, but still. I'll take whatever days I can get with him. I enjoy that time. So that was good. So he came home for the weekend. Okay, my last uh, video that I did was um, March 11. Yes, I don't have any fully finished pieces. I feel like I sound uh, sometimes like a broken record, but I do not do my own fully finished pieces. I have a dear, dear friend that does them for me. And uh, when I give them to her, I tell her, do not, I do not give her a time limit and say I have to have them back by this time. And so she knows that. And I took over about two weeks ago, right before Easter, I guess it would have been. I took over about six or seven pieces to her. And I said, you know, whenever you get them done, you get them done. So we'll just have to see. When she gets them done, she had over Easter, she had all of her grandkids. I think she's got seven or eight granddaughters, all granddaughters. So I don't put her in any bind. So here we go. Let's see what I have been working on. Now, all of my things this time, I do have a picture that I can put up here. So if I don't say I'll put in a picture here, just know I will. Because I do have a picture for every one of them. Surprise, surprise. The first one that I worked on was, since I talked to you last, was my praying hands. And um, I don't always say this, but uh, I'm not sure where I even got this from. I think I got this off of a table or somebody gave it from me. It's a DIY kit. So... I'm not sure where I got this from, but that's what it looks like when it's finished. And here it is. It's the only one that I have on a lap stand. It's the only one I have on a lap stand. I'll scoot it over here so I can put my where I was before in. But I feel very good. I've been working in this area right in here is where I've been working. I'm trying to finish up in that area. So that's where I'm at. And I'm really enjoying working on it. Each time I do work on that one, I'm really enjoying that. Put my picture back in its proper bag. The next one I worked on, you know, I had, if you remember correctly, I said I was trying to do an ornament, um, include ornaments. Well, my son had given me these ornaments from the office, and uh, I'd been working on them. Well, if you know what this is, it's a stapler and some jello. One of the guys on there is always giving the other guy a hard time and doing stuff with the stapler. So that one there is finished. I think I may have to work on it a little bit more, but that's what they look like. And that one there, I just finished. Finished that one completely. And then this one is finished. And I have a picture of this one before it got completely finished. And then the last one I have to do from this set is 
it says world's best boss. And since it goes with it, I was trying to decide if I wanted to put world's best boss on it or leave it, or maybe you have a suggestion. But that's where I'm at on it. So I should be able to finish it the next time I pull it out. And then I'll go back after I get done with that one. I'll go back and do some more of these. I've got a couple more of these that I want to finish and do, and then I've got another book of some that I want to do. So I want to work on those again. So I'll go back to those after I finish that last one from the office. Okay, that's my ornaments. The next one is my Silver Creek Christmas sampler. And here is where I was before. And here I am now. Flying reindeer I finished. So I'm Starting on, let's see, what's after the flying reindeer? Mistletoe is what I'm going to be starting on. So that's where I'm at. That one's a lot of fun to do. Okay. The next one is a set from my cottages that I change monthly. I don't think I'm going to have these ready to go by this month. I've got them, if you remember correctly, I have them all done except June, July, and December. Well, here's my June one. That's what I'm working on. I don't think it's going to be ready by June. I just have a funny feeling. Because this is what I've got done on June. Here's where I was before. Now, in this month, I do have, it's on my WIPCO board. So I will work on it for five days. So in those five days, I may get it done. And it is my traveling piece. Like if I'm going somewhere and I know I can work on it. I can't do it in the car, but... If I'm somewhere and I'm just sitting, my husband's inside of a store or something, and I can just sit and work on it for a little bit, that's the piece I take with me. So I do get to work on it here and there. But that's, I don't think it's going to be done. I think it'll be a next year hanging up one. And then July, same way. So we'll see. This one was a whip go. And... This is my summer ABC. Now my spring ABC, she Beth has that one and it's gonna be, it's getting fixed. So I'm excited about that. So I'll have, now I'm working on summer. Here's where it was before. And this, I am sorry about this one being so wrinkly. I usually am careful about how I put them in my bag. I almost start at the top. And I am down to the letter H-I-J-K-L-M-N. I'm back on the letter N is where I'm, M-N, right in that area, is where I'm at. I really like doing that. I like to work on that one and whenever I work on it it really goes kind of fast let's see um there's a tree can't tell what that is right off the bat on this little picture I need my glasses that's what I need 
excuse me. Oh, it's a little table with some things on it, is what that is. So that's what we'll be putting in there. So I'm excited about that. So that's where I'm at on that one. All right, after that one, I worked on, She's she has my tiny town, it's my February tiny town. She has that one. So next, I will give her my, let me show you the picture, patriotic tiny town. That'll be the next one. And I wanna do all the tiny towns. I think, I'll hit them all, but I think the next tiny town I'm going to choose is the fall tiny town. The fall or the Christmas one. But I'll get back and do them all eventually. And here is where I am now. Oh, there's a picture of where I was, but here is where I am now, I only have this building here to finish, and then there's three really tall buildings to finish. So I don't have much left to do on this one. And then how sad. I have to place an order. Oh, that's sad. Sad, sad, sad. Ouch, I stuck myself with the needle. Mm. So that's the patriotic tiny town. And after my patriotic tiny town, wow, mm, that hurt, is my stitchy stars. And I've already done this one. And now I'm doing the fall stitchy stars. And here's where I was before, if you remember correctly. And I told you that I was out of the brown that's going around there. I got to pick up some more brown because the brown will go in the middle and then it goes on around. Oh, I have a hanging thread. Excuse me. Let me put it on the back. There we go. So, till I get me some brown, I'm kind of in limbo. I can do a little bit more to this, but I can't go on around and then I can't go on. So, I'll be picking that up. That's one thread that I need for to finish that one. And after the fall, I'll do the winter winter one and then there's a spring one I think there's four of them so I'll do all four of them so I can switch them out okay the next one is my auction and if you remember I'm working on this half over here is no, I'm not. I'm working on this half. This is where I'm working at. And here's where I was before. And here's where I'm at now. I need to fold it differently because I'm getting a crease in the middle. I love to see the changes in it. And I'm getting down, I'm getting down here. I think it's here. I'm getting down to some other things down in there. So I'm hoping. So that one, I think I'm gonna fold it 
this way this time to make a little different crease. Okay, come on, let's go. Get in your little bag. And then the last one I worked on in the month of March was Party Like It's 1776. This was created by the Little Stitch Girl. And they were at our Stitch West last fall. And I got it from, I bought it there. And, um... I love this one. I don't have that many patriotic things to begin with, but I got this one while I was there and I really enjoy it. Here's where I was before and I've made a, quite a bit of progress on this. Um, I'm trying to think if this was one of my whip goes or not, but I got quite a bit done on it. And in case you're wondering, this is George. This is Martha. This is John Adams. This is Abigail Adams. And this is going to be Alexander Hamilton. Then I'll introduce you to the rest of them as we go. So I'm trying to kind of do my flag and do my words as I go with my people. So that's where I'm at on that one. Now, in April, what did I do? Well, I said that I'm a, an Ada person. Well, I had received this as a gift. And this is not Ada. It's linen, 32 count. Never again. Never again. It's pretty. I like it, and I can't wait to get it. Everything came with it to turn this into a pillow and this into a fob. And once I got started on it, I did pretty good. I have a picture of it where I was before I did my last bit. And here it is, the two parts. And it is pretty, but that's not made for me. I'll be excited when I see it completely done. I think I'll give it away if I go to another, when, not if, when I go to another retreat, I'll use it for a smalls gift. Is what I'll do. But I don't st stitch on that small. That's not, that's not made for me at all. Nope, 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 nope. Okay. Then the next one I got at Stitch West also, and I have never worked on um, perforated paper. Got this. Setsuma Street. Uh, Jody Rice. She was at our Stitch West. And she gave each one of us one of these. And I was excited to get started on it. And sorry about my needle. I really don't know what to do with it, except let it fall. And this is where I'm at on it. And you know, it's fun. It is kind of fun. I really do enjoy it. I won't say that it's gonna take the place of my cross stitching, but I think when I get done with this one, I think I'll maybe Shame, shame, shame. Order another one. But yeah, it's kind of fun. I can turn it into an ornament. But I kind of like that. It's very easy to work with. And it's really cute. So this was my new start. One of my new... This was my new one. You know, I start one new thing each month. Well, this was my new thing for the month of April. So that was my Christmas spawn. So um, that won't be released since she gave it there. That won't be released to the public, at least for a while yet. Okay, then 
And I will take a picture of this and put it in my video. But I will show you a little bit. I have been working on this and I hopefully can have it done. I'd like to have it done by August. I don't know if it will or not, but I'm gonna stand up and show you. This is my quilt that I've been working on. And I'm kind of up to the top now. I started in the middle, then I went down, and now I've got to finish the top part. And then I have to go around and do all of these. So I'd like to have it done by August. But I will take try to take one big picture of it and put it in so you can see it all. And then the last thing I worked on, and here's a picture of where it was to begin with, is my nativity. And I am very pleased with this one. There's where I was. And look what I am, I'm on the last one. You can see my camel. And you can see the bottom of my king coming up and the top of my camel. Yes. I am tickled to death. Hopefully not too many more times I can get that done. So I can start another nativity. When I get one nativity done, I will start another nativity. So I am really tickled to death with that one. So I've got several on cup well couple on hand that I want to start. Okay, that's everything that I finished in March and so far in April. And for the rest of April, I want to work on, right now I'm working on my Virtuous Woman. It's a whip go, so I'm working on it right now for five days. And I have a thread because I'm working right now, but this is where I'm at right now on it. So I'm working in this middle square right here. And if I have any thread left over from it, I either go to this square and work or this one. But that's my main goal is that one there. Which says... She is not afraid of the snow, for all of her household is clothed in scarlet. So that's the one I'm working on right now, that block. So that's the one, and I'm working on it this week for five days. And it's on my Whipco board. And... This month, for the rest of this month, I will also work on, whoa, just a second here. I'm also working on my, I'm not going to get it out, but I'm going to show you this, my Isaiah. I'll work on it. I have this down here yet to go. A lot of that yet to go is where I'm at. So I'll work on that. I'd like to get this one done by November. Don't know if it'll happen, but that's what I'd like. And like I said, my June cottage is going to come up. And then my new one for this month for, yeah. No, next month, I guess it would be the new start for May. The new start for May. I have never been into samplers, but we're going to do one. And it is called... <coughs> Excuse me. 
Be Ye Kind and True. This will be my first actual sampler. So I am going to do that. Since, <coughs> excuse me, since I probably won't see you till around May 10th or somewhere in there, I may or may not have started it yet. I wanted to show it to you. So that will be my first actual sampler. And it has just one alphabet in it. So we'll see. That's going to be. And I've already got all my threads and everything picked. Got um, if there's any threads that I don't have um, when I go to Hobby Lobby tomorrow, I have to go to Hobby Lobby uh, to the city tomorrow. I can pick up whatever threads I need. And then I just wanted to show you what my June project will be. So you'll know. This is going to be my June new start. Yeah. Call me crazy. But I've always wanted to do this. I've had this in my folder for a couple years. And I decided this is going to be my June start. So maybe today, I don't know if I'll get it done today or not. I'd like to sit down and see what threads I already have. I'd like to try to kit up whatever I can. And I think I'm going to try to do it on a 16 count. And if I do it on a 16 count, I need a 20 by 18 piece of material. And... Um, so I'm going to, I'll look at Hobby Lobby and see if they have a piece that big. And if not, so sad. I'll have to order it. So sad. I'll have to place an order. And you can't let anything travel by itself. So it'll have to be done with something else, I'm sure. Isn't that just sad? It makes me want to cry. So, and it, let's see, I counted it up all my threads there's all the different colors i know you can't see them all but there's 32 different colors in it so i'll go through my colors and see what i have and um check it out and see but uh, that's going to be my june new start so i have to go to the city oklahoma city that's my closest hobby lobby I have to go there for a doctor's appointment tomorrow, and then so we can stop. I'll stop at Hobby Lobby and check it out. All right. Now, let me show you a couple cards that I have that I've done. My first one is this one. I get all my materials from Stamping Up. That's my second one. That would be for a man. That's my second one. Oh, no. There we go. Was stuck. My third one, you could kind of say, but Easter, but I call it more for my spring. Happy birthday. You could put any one on there. And here's my happy hellos. You could use that for anything. says, happy hellos. Just a note, you make me, make me smile. Have a great day. And my last one would be definitely for a male. Just says, hello. Just for any reason at all, you can send that to them. And um, I don't know if I ever told you 
what I do with my cards. Not only love making them, but I love sending them. And with stamp prices the way they are, I know most people like, nope, not doing it. But I just feel like it's a mission. That's one of the things that I do. And I feel like it's a mission for me to do it. And I try to send out at least three cards a day. I don't always get it done. But I try to send out three cards a day to various people, be they widows, widowers, uh, somebody I know that's just maybe never got married, maybe they just live alone, uh, maybe they're just going through a hard time, um, just friends of mine, they might be just a friend of mine, and I just want to send them a card. They may be married, they may whatever, and I just feel like they need a card, and I'd like to do that. And so I just have all different reasons and I have a list and I just, you know, like to send them a card. And uh, so the Lord lays on my heart that you need to put them on your list. And that's what I do. And that's why I send them a card. Who knows? Well, thank you for sending, spending some time with me. I would greatly appreciate it if you hit the thumbs up and the subscribe button, and you share it with other people, I would greatly appreciate it. And um, I really would like, hope that you would uh, stay around for my reading for today. But if not, uh, please come back. It'll probably be at least a month. I usually do three to four weeks before I get back. I wish I could do it more. But like I said in my last one, if I tried to do one every week, it would last 10 minutes. That's all it would be. Uh, because I work on my projects two days. So if I did it every Friday, that would be two, be three projects probably that I could show you. And if it was a WIPCO week, it'd be only maybe one project. So this way I can make it a little worthwhile and share what I've been working on. So I really like to do it once a month. That's really my preference. So anyways, I want you to have a wonderful April. And I'll be back the 1st of May and be able to talk to you. And um, if I don't get back before Mother's Day, you have a great Mother's Day. If you are a mother or a happy grandmother's day, whatever the case may be. But right now, let's see what we have in our reading today. It's called Willing Submission. Lord God, you are the true authority. So I should remember and trust that anyone with authority over me has it with your approval. We're so very young when we start to struggle against this idea. As soon as I had a will, I begin to exert it and to resist anyone who tried to control any aspect of my life, like the toddler who insisted on putting on her own shoes, when to allow mama would have been so much simpler. I still struggle when I lack control over my situation. Holy Spirit, please subdue me. Show me the gift of willing submission and the peace that comes by trusting that any authority you have placed over me is for my good. And the question for today is, can you trust God through those who are placed over you? Think about that. Stay cool and keep stitching. Bye-bye for now.